which is the Bergeron's method. So in Bergeron's method, it's a very high cloud. It's a very cold cloud. Such clouds have pre-existing crystals, but the crystals are very, very small. Okay. Essay clouds, which are very cold clouds, you also call these as a super cooled clouds. Super cooled clouds. Bolte. And they have ice crystals, but the ice crystals are very small. So Bergeron's theory, jo, ye theory jo hai, it's a theory of how ice crystal grows to become heavy and fall as snowfall and fall as snow. The theory kis baare mein hai? The theory is about, I repeat, the theory is about how ice crystals grow to become heavy and then fall as snow. See, essentially what we are saying is, see, I have a cloud here and this cloud has water droplets. The cloud has some water vapor bhi hai, gas form mein. And the cloud also has certain ice crystals. The question is, ye droplet gir kyun nahi hai? Why is this ice crystal not falling? Because they're very, very small. They're very small. They're very light. So they remain in air. Only when the ice crystal starts growing in size, ki wo bhari ho jayega, tab na girega ye. Why does a cloud which have droplets, why does a cloud that has ice crystals not have snowfall or rainfall because the droplets are very small because the ice crystals are very very small bahut halka hai they are buoyant they remain in air suspended but agar koi mechanism hoga by which this can become heavy by which this can start growing and become large then it can't remain in cloud it start falling down as snowfall or rainfall is like why does a ship no, not sink mechanism hai by which the buoyancy on the ship okay, is so much it keeps the ship floating but tomorrow for some reason okay, you add weight to it or the buoyancy becomes less the ship gir jayega aapka it starts sinking down same mechanism so bergeron's theory jo hai it is about how ice crystals grow to become heavy and then fall as snow now listen all of you be attentive here is a small uh, technical concept there is Imagine there is an ice crystal and above ice crystal, there is some air. There is a water droplet. Above the water droplet, there is some air. Now, for condensation to happen, there is some thing which is suspended for it to condense into a droplet or into an ice. That thing must first get saturated. It's something like, imagine, I have a... Uh, say glass of water and salt. When does salt start precipitating? When I keep on adding salt and the water now gets saturated, correct? Uske baad if you add salt, kya hoga? The additional salt now can't remain dissolved. It will fall down as precipitation. So for condensation to happen, what must should happen is that air must have saturation, correct? What does saturation mean? that the maximum limit which it can hold has now crossed. Say, say the capacity of something is 10. If I add 10, tab ho gaya saturation. Now if I add one more, kya hoga? This one more will fall down as okay, something. So I need to have saturation and then this will start to fall down as an additional one. It's something like, imagine, I have a room and I have got say 20 people. When can the room not accommodate 20 anymore. When agar chair 20 tha and the people are 20, okay, uske beyond 21st one can't be accommodated. But imagine a condition where the room does not have 20 chair, the room has 10 chair, which means the saturation for the 10 chair room will happen when there is 11 people. So I repeat, I repeat, listen, condensation happens when there is saturation. Okay, now, the next point is, in which case, saturation happens faster, cold air or warm air? In which case, will saturation happen faster, 
इसके लिए जानना पड़ेगा आपको कि विच एयर हैज मोर कैपेसिटी वार्म एयर हैज मोर कैपेसिटी और कोल्ड एयर हैज मोर कैपेसिटी वार्म एयर कोल्ड एयर हैज लेस कैपेसिटी सो विच विल सैचुरेट फास्टर द कोल्ड एयर इफ आई हैव गॉट टू पैकेट्स ऑफ एयर वन इज कोल्ड एयर एंड वन इज वार्म एयर कोल्ड एयर के कैपेसिटी रैंडम से इज फाइव Warm air has a capacity of ten. If I am adding moisture, if I add moisture, which will become first saturated, cold air. So condensation, kis me asan hai? Cold me asan hai ki warm me asan hai? It is in the cold air. It is in the air which has less capacity. Condensation happens faster. Okay. Now imagine ice crystal hai. और एक वाटर ड्रॉपलेट है अब आइस क्रिस्टल देर इज सम एयर अब वाटर ड्रॉपलेट देर इज सम एयर विच एयर विल सैचुरेट फास्टर आइस क्रिस्टल सो वेन कंडेंसेशन हैपन्स इट हैपन वेर फर्स्ट क्रिस्टल पे होगा कि वाटर ड्रॉपलेट पे होगा इट बी ऑन द आइस क्रिस्टल नाउ वेन यू एड वेपर वी हैव ए कंसेप्ट कॉल्ड एज वेपर प्रेशर वॉट वेपर प्रेशर वेपर प्रेशर इज the pressure because of the vapor so you are adding some vapor you are adding some vapor theek hai acha now is one more concept called as saturated vapor pressure which is the vapor pressure when the air gets saturated theek hai now my question to you is in which case the saturated vapor pressure is achieved faster ice crystal or water droplet this air may कम कैपेसिटी होगा वो जल्दी बन जाएगा सैचुरेशन सो अब आइस द सैचुरेशन हैपन्स फास्टर मींस अब आइस द सैचुरेटेड वेपर प्रेशर हैपन्स फास्टर उसका वैल्यू कम होगा कि ज्यादा होगा देर इज आइस इट्स टोटली कॉमन सेंस ये फिजिक्स भी नहीं बोलेंगे हम ठीक है देर इज आइस आइस से हैज कैपेसिटी ऑफ थ्री अब आइस ये एयर है द एयर हैज कैपेसिटी ऑफ थ्री वेपर is a droplet the droplet has a capacity of 1 2 3 4 5 6 when the vapor jo capacity hai it jab full ho jayega i'll say it is now saturated and the pressure at saturation level is called as saturated vapor pressure to main pehla sawal ye hai tell me in which case the saturation happens faster ice theek hai next question is in which case is saturation vapor pressure higher above water droplet right because iska saturation kab hoga jab 6 aa jayega iska kab hoga 3 ho jayega so saturation vapor pressure over droplet is higher than that of the ice crystal theek hai but which saturate faster ice crystal so when condensation happens kahan par hota hai jaldi hota hai ice crystal So my question to you is now tell me in which case condensation is faster when the saturated vapor pressure is more or less in which case is the condensation faster when the saturated vapor pressure is less on nature me we have a principle called as principle of least effort har cheez na moves towards what is happening faster so now if there is a tendency of condensation if there is a tendency of condensation and imagine i have got a vapor here this vapor will prefer to go towards ice or towards water droplet so agar ice crystal hai and water droplet hai and there is a vapor which must condense the vapor will move towards the ice crystal why because ab technically bol rahe hain because the saturated vapor pressure over ice is less than that over the droplet this enables the condensation to happen fast on the ice so which will grow in size faster droplet or ice which will become large faster ice so what will fall down from the clouds ice ab samajh na raha hai yahan par ice crystal so how does snowfall happen snowfall happens in high clouds which has ice crystals that forces condensation on the ice crystal because the saturated vapor pressure over ice is less than that on the water droplet that's all okay that is what happens so imagine 
इमेजिन आई हैव ए क्लाउड और इस क्लाउड में ड्रॉपलेट्स हैं बट आइस क्रिस्टल्स नहीं है सो विल दिस क्लाउड हैव फास्ट विल विल इट हैव फास्ट कंडेंसेशन विल इट हैव रेनफॉल विल इट हैव स्नोफॉल नो व्हाई अगर आइस ही नहीं है देयर इज नो ट्रिगर मैकेनिज्म टू फोर्स द कंडेंसेशन टू हैपन पर अगर आप आइस डाल दे तो क्या होगा द आइस स्टार्ट्स अट्रैक्टिंग वेपर वेरी फास्ट यू नो अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल रेनफॉल यही करते हैं कि अगर कोई क्लाउड है एंड द क्लाउड डज नॉट हैव इनफ आइस क्रिस्टल्स The cloud has lot of water vapor. The cloud has lot of water droplet, but condensation or नहीं हो पा रहा है. So what they do is they take a aeroplane and they put ice over it, or they put dry ice. Dry ice is what basically salt carbon dioxide. So that dry ice now becomes a kind of a water vapor magnet. So जो भी water vapor होगा ना इस साथ attracting, and this ice crystal will grow in size and fall down as snowfall. One mechanism of artificial rainfall. Is it okay? आपको notes में लिखना एक sentence है. So what I have to explain is what do I mean by the concept of lower saturated vapor pressure? Artificial rainfall के बहुत mechanisms हैं. This is one of them. You can also put silver iodide crystal. उसका भी वही काम होता है. To attract more and more ice crystal formation. Essentially, the rule is what I must have a mechanism by which that आइस क्रिस्टल मस्ट बिकम लार्ज एंड हैवी ताकि वो गिर जाए अगर है और ग्रो नहीं कर रहा है आई विल नॉट हैव स्नोफॉल हाउ डू मेक इट लार्ज एंड हैवी बाय पुटिंग समथिंग विच एक्ट लाइक ए मैग्नेट टू अट्रैक्ट मोर एंड मोर कंडेंसेशन ओवर द आइस दैट्स व्हाई दिस हैपेंस ओनली फॉर द हाई क्लाउड्स व्हाई हाई क्लाउड्स बिकॉज हाई क्लाउड्स हैव आइस क्रिस्टल्स दिस हैपेंस ओनली फॉर कोल्ड क्लाउड्स व्हाई कोल्ड क्लाउड्स बिकॉज कोल्ड क्लाउड्स विल हैव Ice crystals, correct. तो अगर snowfall चाहिए आपको यही mechanism से करना होगा So I said the theory is about what? How ice crystals grow to become heavy and fall as snow. This mechanism, this mechanism operates as a consequence of saturated vapor pressure is low over ice crystals. This induces faster condensation over ice crystals because of which ice crystals grow in size become heavy and fall as snowfall that's all that's your theory aapko bas yahi technical janna tha concept what do i mean by the saturated vapor pressure is low over ice crystals so above ice The air is cooler because over ice air cooler है तो उसका saturation capacity कम होगा ओके इट बिकम सैचुरेटेड फास्टर इट्स कैपेसिटी इज लेस बिकॉज इट्स गेट सैचुरेटेड ओके फास्टर इट्स सैचुरेट वेपर प्रेशर विल बी लो एंड दिस फोर्स इज फास्टर कंडेंसेशन ओवर आइस क्रिस्टल्स द वेपर प्रेशर इन कंडीशन ऑफ सैचुरेशन दो एयर पैकेट है okay this air packet saturation happens at 3 this air packet saturation happens at 5 so when i have full 3 what is the vapor pressure when i have full 5 what is the vapor pressure the vapor pressure in saturation is called as the saturated vapor pressure so jiska zyada capacity hoga uska zyada hoga pressure in saturation so what is the meaning of the idea That saturated pressure is low. का मतलब क्या है? का मतलब यही है that it achieves saturation faster. So when this is low, it will aid. It will aid faster. What? Faster condensation. So how does the Bergeron process operate? It operates only in the presence of ice crystals. Write down the ice crystals. इस में इसमें ऐड करो. The ice crystals operate as freezing nuclei. that aids condensation in the absence of next sentence in the absence of adequate amount of ice crystals snowfall or precipitation gets inhibited snowfall or precipitation gets inhibited in such conditions precipitation can be induced 
by adding ice crystals artificially or any freezing nuclei like dry ice any freezing nuclei like dry ice to mujhe basically koi particle chahiye jo ki bahut thanda ho that's all either aap ice crystal dalo jo mushkil hota hai to carry and put on the clouds or you can put dry ice dry ice is soil carbon dioxide which is having a very low temperature and this can start off the artificial precipitation